Welcome to Adventures in Gaming and today I'm going to talk about a few Xbox 360 games that I've recently got. The first one is Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, I own a lot of the Assassin's Creed games but I've never played them but uh, somebody got this game and it was rated M so I ended up getting it given to me so thank you for that you know who you are um, but I'll play this one in the future. I know uh, Assassin's Creed is a great series. The other thing that I had was uh, I had um, some time shopping before Christmas with uh, some family and I found a GameStop in an area where uh, some of the ladies were shopping and I didn't want to do any of the ladies shopping so I went into the GameStop and they happened to have a used game sale on Xbox 360 four games for ten dollars so I'm like 250 a game man that's pretty cheap so I figured I'd go through and try to see if I could find four games well I really struggled to find four games that I wanted because I'm a little bit choosy but I did find four uh, this Omerta City of Gangsters I had never seen it before and decided I'd give it a try sort of a godfather type theme thing uh, you start out as a fresh immigrant off the boat and you got to work your way up through the uh, crime syndicate system or whatever, or the gangster system. So looking forward to playing that sometime in the future. The second game I got was Alone in the Dark. This game is a post-apocalyptic, I have a hard time saying that, apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic uh, version uh, in New York City. Uh, that goes through Central Park, so all the mayhem that may ensue in Central Park, uh, and uh, apparently it's at dark, so I don't know. It looks like a pretty interesting game, so I figured I'd give it a shot. The third game that I got is Army of Two, the 40th day. What this one does is it completes my Army of Two uh, three series or three game series. So uh, I had the first one that I played with my son years ago and had a blast with it. Uh, I picked up another one, uh, the final one, on uh, Games with Gold for free. And so now I got this one here, with, uh, which will complete the series for me. And the fourth game I got, I've been wanting to get an NCAA uh, football 14 game because it's the last one out and you'll never see another one again because of licensing issues. But uh, they had NCAA Football 10, and so I decided to pick it up. Um, I don't have to have the latest game. It's one of these things where it's kind of, uh, it allows me to play football and allows me to play uh, with my team, uh, LSU. So hopefully they're pretty good in the game. If not, maybe I can ramp up the, uh, or ramp down the difficulty level and let me uh, womp up on everybody. So that's the games that I got here recently, those five games. Uh, I've got some more stuff coming, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your games, and go Tigers!